Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to replace a radio that went out on a 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan and installing another one which I picked up at a junkyard from a 2010 Chrysler Town and Country. As I am showing you, this radio is the one we will be removing which is not working anymore. I'm raising the volume and changing the stations. Nothing works. There is no sound. We'll start first by removing this bezel, this framing around the radio, and being very careful. It is probably a good idea if you're going to attempt to do this yourself to probably put some tape all the way around to protect as you're prying this. We are loosening this up, and you will see how this will pry out. We will start by loosening one area. There you go, we got one. And then go on around, little by little. Well, here we go. We got the bezel, the framing around the radio. And as you see, we have four screws, one on each corner that we're gonna use a screwdriver to remove these. And then the radio should pull out easily. Okay, so we removed the four screws and we just need to loosen up the radio a little bit, prying it slightly to where you're able to grab it with your fingers. Again, being careful with the edging here. And right here, for example, like as I'm showing with the screwdriver slightly, without damaging anything, prying it enough to where you can possibly grab it now it will pull straight out there should be on this radio which is just a standard chrysler radio with a cd player it will only have two connections now one being the power supply and the other one being the antenna basically with the power supply using your index finger you press in and it'll free the power supply just like that now here i will need a screwdriver to free that clasp from the little notch so basically you're putting right here you're going to be putting a screwdriver and just moving this forward slightly like this and then just freeing it from the little notch. So basically we have the radio removed completely and replacing it with another radio that I picked up at the junkyard. And it is very much the same type of radio except this one is a little better. It has a serious satellite antenna capability for the connection which is the yellow one right here. This is the regular antenna that we have, just like the old one. And then this is the attachment for the power supply. So we will be installing this, connecting the two attachments, just connected the two attachments. And just to make sure that it is very important when you press these in, that you hear a click. And if you pull slightly, you'll know that the connection is proper and that you will have power supply going through it and the antenna connection for uh, reception will be working properly. So now we're ready to mount this in. Once you see that both sides are in equally, then you press in and it will lock in place. Now you're ready to put the screws in. But first, before we do anything, we're going to test this radio again. We're going to make sure that it is working properly. Now let's test the uh, CD, see if it is working. Let's see on radio. We have the FM channel here. And looks like we've got it running perfectly. Everything's working. 
as it should. So now let's finish it by putting the bezel around it. First of all, we're going to put the screws and then we're going to slip the bezel in there. Four screws have been tightened in. Now all we have to do is finish it off with the bezel that goes around the radio. And we have the two sides. As you can see here, these two clips snap in place just to make sure that you center them and press lightly and they'll both they'll push in there we go check all the four corners make sure that you got it all in place now we have the radio all set everything works on it and it looks like macho's having more fun than i am my uh, kitten here. This radio costed me $29, including warranty for 30 days, if in case anything goes wrong with it. And it was definitely worth the price. And it's actually a step up from the radio that I originally had that came with this vehicle. And this is also a Chrysler radio as well. So it's an OEM radio. I hope this video was helpful to everyone. If it was, then uh, please uh, press the like button. If you have a comment, please uh, put your comment in and uh, please subscribe to my channel as I will also have other videos for do-it-yourselfers for home projects. And I will see you next time on my next video. And thank you again for visiting my channel. Have a wonderful day.